Good morning, we're gonna do 11.6 um, today. So these are the notes you guys are gonna just follow along, take notes, and then um, post a shot of them for me, just like you've been doing with Mr. Thurman. And, um, and that's how you'll get credit for them. All right, so um, today we're gonna be working on surface area and volume of spheres. Um, this is pretty mellow. There are two formulas that we're gonna be using. Surface area for spheres is four pi r squared, and volume is four thirds pi r cubed. And the r that they're talking about is if we have a sphere. So the way you draw a sphere is you do a little circle with a belt on it. And when we get into circles next chapter, um, I highly recommend, and I'm gonna start using as well, um, a cup to make your circles, and they look way better. So here's my little sphere. Here's my little radius. And um, basically, uh, we're just plugging and chugging for the most part. Um, so for example, if we wanted to um, find the volume and surface area of the given circle, or I'm sorry, given sphere. All we would have to do is, um, is look at that sphere figure out what its radius is. Let's say it's, um, I don't know, five uh, centimeters. So um, we're gonna find the volume and the surface area. Did you guys miss my highlighting? I bet you did. I miss highlighting, it's so fun. All right, here's my volume formula. Volume, we are cubing our radius, which makes sense. Surface area, our units are getting squared. So our solutions for surface area are gonna be units squared. Solutions for volume are gonna be um, units cubed. All right, so let's start with the volume. So that is four thirds uh, radius so pi times the radius cubed. And um, when you plug this in your calculator, you just wanna make sure that you follow PEMDAS and do your exponents first. So we're gonna do five cubed, so that's five. And then this little carrot cubed. So we get 125. And then times 3.14. And then to times it by that fraction, four thirds, I'm just gonna put in parentheses. You have to use the parentheses. If you don't, then you're gonna get it wrong. Um, four divided by three, and then close the parentheses. You have to close those parentheses. All right, and let's press equal. And there we go. So we get 523.3. Uh, our unit was centimeters cubed. And that is it. And then for surface area, same thing, we're just gonna plug in. So surface area is four pi r squared. My radius is five squared. Again, when we plug it in our calculator, you wanna do your exponents first. So that's five squared, which is 25 times four times 3.14, and we get 314, and it was centimeters squared. All right, so easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Now, um, working backwards, so let's say I'm given the volume or I'm given the surface area and then I wanna find whichever one I wasn't given, or maybe I wanna find the radius or the diameter. 
um, then we can do that that way. Also, sometimes you might be given the whole diameter. So if I was given this whole thing was 10 centimeters, I'd have to divide by two to get that radius um, and then plug it in. Um, so those are kind of the two things that they'll throw at you and both of those I think are very manageable. Okay, next up, um, let's work backwards. So the volume, of a sphere is, um, I don't know, we'll just make up a number, um, is 428 um, inches cubed. Find the surface area. Okay, so I'm given the volume Oh, it says the volume of a sphere is this. So I know the volume, which means I'm going to use the volume formula. So volume is equal to 4 thirds pi r cubed. And my volume is 428. So I've got 428 is equal to 4 thirds pi r cubed. Okay, so we're just gonna isolate our variable. We wanna get it all by itself. So I'm gonna start by dividing by pi. That'll make that guy go away. And then let's plug that into our calculator. So 428 divided by 3.14 is 136.3. It's kinda hard for you guys to see, isn't it? Um, so I get that 136.3 is equal to 4 thirds radius cubed. Now to get rid of a fraction, we need to multiply by the reciprocal. So I'm gonna multiply this side by 3 fourths. I'm gonna multiply this side by 3 fourths. So we are going to get that the radius cubed is equal to I'm going to take my calculator to multiply it by 3 fourths. I'm going to times by 3 and then divide by 4. Same thing as timesing by 3 fourths. All right, and I get that the radius cubed is equal to 102.2. So let's take the cubed root, cubed root. So to do that on your calculator, you're going to raise with a little carrot. So I've got 102.2 raise. And then in parentheses, I'm going to say to the 1 divided by 3 power. So the cubed root is the same thing as raising something to the 1 third power. All right. And that gives me a radius of 4.6. So it says 4.67, 4. Point, I'm just going to round it to 4.7. Let's just check that 4.7 times 4.7 times 4.7. Yep, that's about 103. Really close. All right, so that's our radius. Are we done? We are not done. What are we trying to find? We're trying to find the surface area. So now that I know my radius, I can just plug into my surface area formula. So surface area is four pi r squared, and my radius was 4.7. Again, when we plug this in the calculator, you want to do your exponents first. So that's 4.7 squared. There's a nice little squared button for that one, so not too bad. And then times by 4 and times by pi, 3.14. And we get 277.45. So I'm just going to round that to 5 
and our unit was inches and its surface area, so it's going to be inches squared. Final answer. My radius was just plain inches. All right. And so it's basically the exact same thing too for um, going the other way. I'll show you one more example of that one and then we'll be done with our notes. 